sure you've been on YouTube or watching your favorite TV show and you find footage that you think, well, might be questionable. Sometimes it's pretty obvious that it is, but really without knowing the entire story, you can't really be sure. One of the most common violations is for footage that looks like it was shot over 400 feet AGL. Remember that you could be flying over a mountain or you are flying under part 107 close to a very tall obstacle. Using a wide angle lens can also amplify the effect, so don't be too quick to judge without making sure that you see the rest of the area. A big part of flying safely is also not flying over people or moving vehicles. From time to time you'll see footage, especially in TV shows, where the drone looks like it's flying over traffic or people. However, using a long zoom lens, it is possible to get the footage that you need while staying within the regulation. Keep in mind too that it is difficult to get waivers to fly over people, but it is actually possible. Part 107 now allows for categorized drone, category one through four, to fly over people in certain conditions, but they are still extremely rare. For example, this little mini here with the Japanese battery qualifies as a category one drone. It's the same thing with flying over a moving vehicle. Now, here's a quick trick for you. You don't have to be directly over the subject to make it look like you are. Simply fly with your gimbal at 75, 80 degrees down to give you enough lateral spacing from your subject during your shot. Now, if you watch FPV videos, there are a couple things that you need to keep in mind. Some YouTubers have been reported to the FAA for not flying with a visual observer, including our friend Ken at Original Dobo. FPV flights are fast, and the purpose of the visual observer is to be the eyes in the sky of the pilot while they're using the goggles. Placing your visual observer directly next to you may actually not be the best idea if you're trying to increase situational awareness. Also, the pilot may intentionally hide the visual observer from the shot for creative purposes. As long as both the visual observer and the pilot have a clear communication and the ability to see the drone at all times, if the FPV pilot were to remove the goggles, then the flight is actually perfectly legal. And of course, there's the all too infamous range test or flying beyond visual line of sight. Now, the FA does not allow you to do daisy chaining of visual observers, but Part 107 does allow you to fly from a moving vehicle as long as you're in a sparsely populated area. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that all the flights that look illegal are not. I'm only saying to make sure that you have the entire picture before you make a judgment call. Reporting a flight to the FA is a pretty serious action that should only be used when you have witnessed somebody that's putting other people at risk using their drones. If you have any questions about this topic, please leave them in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video.